Hello to all who are part of our Given Network. I just want you to know that you are deeply in the prayers of all the religious sisters and the good holy women who are part of the Given Network. Our own community has been praying fervently for an end to the pandemic and for all who are affected in any way. We are celebrating a Holy Week, a Lent, an Easter like no other. And I've been blessed to be able to continue teaching my students through this time of the pandemic, vir uh, through virtual learning, through e-learning. And um, we happen to be studying, by God's providence, John Paul II's apostolic letter on the meaning of suffering, Salva Fidget Dolores. And if anything that letter proclaims to us and the gospel proclaims to us is that suffering is not meaningless. Suffering is in the world to unleash love, John Paul II, let's say. And I think at this moment, when people are bearing such a share in the cross of Christ, we are called to let love be unleashed in us and for our world. And, um, and here in our convent in Baltimore, by the image of Our Lady of Guadalupe, so dear to us at Given, uh, because really we see in Our Lady the, the, the model of how to say yes, no matter what comes. And if we accept God's will and let ourselves be loved by God and give that love forward, no matter how that happens right now, uh, sending a message to someone who is lonely and in isolation, uh, making face masks to help others, um, being on the front lines like many of our given alum, they are of taking care of those in need right now. Whatever is our call to love right where we are, we are living uh, after the model of Our Lady. So I encourage you to stay very close to her, especially during these most sacred days of the of the year. And I, I think we have this great moment to stand in solidarity with the whole world and letting a moment of suffering be transformed into a moment of profound grace and love. So my prayers are with you, my sisters in Christ, and I ask you to pray for all of us too. Easter's not just a message about suffering. It's a message about love unleashed by suffering. And we are knowing and praying that God can and does bring good out of all things and that he is using even these very difficult events of the present to make us instruments of newness of life. The Lord makes all things new, including our minds and hearts, wishing you many Easter graces and blessings and promising you the support of our prayers.